I enter the game and I hear a power outage. Nice. So, what's going on? You know what? I'll just turn you back on to see what's going on. No. Okay. Um. This is bad. So, for the time being, let's just use some biofuel. Put it into the reactors. We may have to work on more coal power first before we work on anything else. I still have leaves and wood in my inventory. For times like these, this is why I keep this stuff around. Well, it's going back down. Okay, so we, we may need more power. Now, let's get rid of these leaves. And the wood. Alright, so, um... Let's check the ma'am. Did we have anything in here? Anything we can research? Not yet. Or, hey. We're going to need to research these, so... Eventually. And we did have computers, didn't we? Like, from crash sites, so... Just add that. Oh, here we go. And then we need motors. Plastic and rubber. So, let's get this first. Now I'll get rid of this portable miner. If I need one, I'll just build another one. Put the computer back. Let's see how many motors we have. Okay, we are getting a decent amount of rotors. I don't know how many we're getting per minute. Oh. We have lots of these. Okay. So I'll get three stacks. We'll put two of them into the uh, hub there. And then we'll go and get some plastic and rubber. Oh, we still need to make our transport infrastructure. Let's get rid of this. Just to get rid of that stack. Oh, let's get rid of the limestone and the iron ore. I think that's all the useless stuff we can get rid of. Okay. So yeah, we need to get the uh, plastic and rubber over to our factory. And we also need to get, um, get more power. And let me double check our power consumption right now. Yeah, so we may need to exploit uh, another coal patch over there. Get eight additional coal generators going. Let's go over here. I'm just going to manually get some of our plastic and rubber just so we can finish this milestone. Where's our truck? Ah, it's still over here. Anyway, can I get stuff from you? Like, I might as well just slowly remove its inventory. If I can. So let's get some... Yeah, we'll take this. This. This, this, this. Can't, we can't take all of it just yet. But we'll slowly remove the resources from the tractor. Just so we can get that off the map. Or might as well put it into the box over here. Is there even room here? A little bit.
Yeah, we'll just put all this over here. That container is full, so... I think I built another container over here in that direction somewhere. Still need to build the tractors for this. Wait, can we build this now? Oh, no, we can't. We need beacons and we need the modular frames. I only had one modular frame, so I guess it doesn't really matter. I think I did have a container somewhere where it can fit resources. Or not. Are these full already? Yes, you are. Alright, let's extend this. Then we'll add just a couple more just to keep things going. Wait, is it in organization? That's what I'm looking for. Oh, I need modular frames. So never mind. Okay, so I'm going to need more modular frames. Like, let's keep two stacks with us at all times just so we can build this stuff. Oh, that was a waste of a trip. Well, I guess not really. Still need the plastic and rubber. So two stacks of this, and then two stacks of this, and then we'll go back and get the milestone. There we go. Wait, can we build... What's the next vehicle? Oh, we can build a truck now. Should we build the truck or just continue using a tractor? Hey, does it say how fast this thing can go from here? No, it just says the number of inventory slots. The tractor can only hold 25 inventory slots. The truck can hold 48. All right, then let's get that jetpack, get our extra five inventory slots. That's going to be helpful later on. And then we'll get whatever is next. I really forgot what's next. Okay, so I'll just focus on transporting the plastic and rubber first. We should have enough power for the time being. And then after that, we'll work on extra coal generators. R&D inflated your pocket dimension and has provided a jetpack, which operates on oil-based fuel for increased navigational capabilities as well as odds of survival. All right, so we got five additional inventory slots. We need modular frames. Or you know what? Let's get three stacks of them. Yeah, just three stacks. And then... We'll add the truck stations down here. Oh, we also need to expand copper. Oh, wait, this looks kind of weird. This ingot... And that ingot, between up here, they kind of overlap. That's okay, I guess. Um, we need to get the truck stations, put them over here. Yeah, so let's get rid of these ramps. Start expanding this area.
Oh, come on. There is the doggo over there. Doesn't like me, apparently. But it's watching me. I don't have any berries. So I've read that he likes berries and I'm supposed to take off my, what is it called? The Blade Runners before I approach him. So I'll have to keep an eye out for berries. Like, I do want to tame him. I'm just not going to go out of my way to do it, you know? Okay, so... I'm gonna get rid of this. Get rid of this. 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 And there is a conveyor pull down here, isn't there? Yes, there he is. Alright. Let's finish building this. Just so we can have something that is aligned here. Yeah, it's too high. Two poles high. And then we'll have our pole over here. Oops. Yeah, that connects to our generators over there. Is, that's why the power shut off. Now, anyway, let's connect this again. I just want this high enough so that trucks can, or tractors and trucks can pass underneath here. That looks nice. How do I want to arrange it? Hmm, can I put it a track here, a tractor stop here and here? Or do we put it like this? Uh let's see. You know what, let's put it like this. Let's put the truck station over here. And I can't afford it because it requires cables. Now uh, let's go all the way back there, get some cables. Or maybe we can like expand like the foundations uh, towards our copper mining just so that we have space to expand if need be. Okay, where is it? Oh, it's in here. Get five of these cables. Okay, if I play like another round of this, like on update four, I am not doing any of this. Like I'm just going to focus on like one section at a time like not 
I'm kind of I kind of designed this like the main bus in Factorio, except I found that it's not really that useful because I have a section for iron plates and like only one thing on the second floor has iron plates that it needs. So I'm gonna have to do a different design in the next game. Most likely an update four. Players in the way. Damn you. Let's put you over here. I'll put you like... Is this even a line? I can't tell. Let's leave some space because I want the truck going in here and then leaving. Oh, don't want to walk into him. Okay, so. Let's see here. I need, I need concrete? Damn it. All right. Back to getting concrete. You know, I'm liking Factorio a lot more. Because you have like these logistics robots that just bring resources to you when you're within range. Brings you resources if you don't have them. And then removes resources if you have too many. Like that. Oh well, this is still an early access and there's still a lot of work to be done. So they'll probably do something in the future. Actorio just had a much bigger head start than them. That's all. They did a lot of things that I enjoyed. So hopefully we'll see them here. Okay, we'll connect this over here. No, we can't do that. Connect this over here. Yeah, this will work. So we need to bring fuel over here as well. Hmm, how do we do that? Okay, we'll put a splitter here. Bring it over here. Yeah, that'll work. So, this thing will get some coal. Can you go over here? All right, so then... I'll put you here... Oh! This is too close. Nice right angle. Very nice. We'll just bring this over here. And that feeds in there. And then we'll put the splitter right here. Can't even make this align with whatever. All right. So we need to bring.
we somehow need to bring this over here. Plastic and rubber. Put six here, two, three, four, five, six. These rocks are still annoying as ever. And how much caterium do we have here anyway? We have a full truck station full of it. We're not really using caterium anyway, so that's probably why. Well, anyway, I'll just climb up here, I guess. It'll probably make you things easier if I'm building from up here. Maybe. Or not. Two and three. Two, three. Okay, this is the output. Put you here. This isn't going to work, is it? Okay, we'll put the conveyor lift up here. Wait, it was this one I was supposed to remove. And then we'll put the conveyor belt here, and then we'll put it up here. Or not there. Not there. That's the wrong one. Put it on the second level. And then the third level goes here. Except that looks weird. Okay, this is going to intersect. Let's put you on the lower level. Put you on a higher level. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Much better. There's in the way, huh? Damn it. You want to read it up? There we go. You know what? I'll just leave that there for now. And what I'm going to do is start making the tractors. We need beacons. All right, then. Let's build a equipment workshop. Sure, this is good. Just need 10 of you. Where is it? Alright, so two tractors. I think we only need tractors. We don't need trucks. At least, not yet. Okay, so you're getting... You have a hundred coal now. So we need to... I guess build a ramp down here. Alright, so let's build you here. I 
don't know why you guys are rotating automatically every time I move. Kind of annoying. Not too annoying, but kinda annoying. Anyway. Let's back up a bit. And then how do we do this again? Okay, um, start recording. Pause for a little bit. And then we'll pull off in this direction. And drive over the rocks because, yes, we do that. Uh, where am I supposed to go? Not through here. Definitely not through there. Okay, so we'll drive through here. We go down here, we go across the bridge we built. It's a very nice bridge. And across here. And we'll take the farthest one. Take that first. And we will park over here. Let's pause for a bit. And then we'll go. And I forget which one we picked up. But we're just going to follow this back. And the path is hard to see because of the sun. I want to follow this path just so we don't have to overlap with the other truck. Just in case. But you know, there probably will be some overlapping. So I'm hoping these trucks don't crash into each other. If they do, I'll be pissed. Ooh. There we go. We're okay. I guess we'll follow this area over here. I'll run over that parrot. And go back here. Finish recording. Or I guess enable autopilot now. And what did we bring back? Oh shit. <laughs> We're supposed to set this to unload. Well, alright. Well, that should be set now. Anyway, let's work on this one. Okay, start recording. Just wait for a little bit first. And then we'll go. Drive over the rocks because why not? I guess I'll pass through here. Uh, 
Oh, I'm intersecting that path. Oh well. Worst case scenario, I'll just have to re-record the path. <laughs> 